Okay, so I uh, ran into a few hiccups here, but um, it seems to be working now. Uh, I'll have to explain what's going on here. But uh, there's the board. Uh, the board is connected through USB. Uh, this is the dongle that they that came with the um, with the. I keep saying IO IO card, but I've been corrected. It's uh, pronounced Yo Yo card. Um, as you can see, the power is uh, on there. The power light's on. So that's hooked up directly to my phone. This is the phone that I will be using as my thermostat. Uh, the server app is running, and um, as you can see here. It's reading uh, temperature, and since it's changing, that tells me, hey, something's working there. Uh, the heat is on. Obviously, it's not hooked up to my furnace yet, but temperature is 64 and a half degrees in here. Uh, the temperature sensor is right there, and if I put my hand on it, it should warm up. Hopefully, I'm warmer than that. And there it is. It's starting to heat up. 65, 65 and a half-ish, 66, all right. So that seems to be working and I actually did hear the relay click on when, um, when it went into heat mode and it started to heat. So that's a good sign. Now you're probably wondering what's this wire uh, hooked up for? Well, the instructions, the way it's set up, the um, the cards actually run off the power off of your phone uh, in the instructions which uh, seems silly to me because what happens when your battery dies on your phone your thermostat stops working so you really need to power this board um, from something else uh, um, SparkFun does sell a charger for it that hooks up into this charging port if you can see there sorry uh, to this charging port uh, and I did order one but I didn't have the patience to wait for it to come in the mail so what I did was I hooked up power directly to the board and if you look on the spark phone website or uh, the reddit forums they, they explain uh, where to charge it or where you can power it uh, I have it hooked up to the I believe it's a VIN uh, which is a positive and then this is a ground. There's a couple different grounds uh, on the board. Uh, a ground is a ground so it doesn't matter which one you go to. Actually on the website they recommend going to this ground here which as you can see with the solder on there I did try it. Um, and this is kind of where I ran into some hiccups. So I got this USB cord that's what this is right here from the dollar store for a buck. So I figured hey USB is USB you know it's not going to really matter well when I cut the wires and spliced them and hooked it up to the board and soldered it originally <laughs> the the red wire is actually the ground and the black wire is actually the positive um, I don't know if that's because it's a cheap wire and they got it wrong um, but when I first hooked it up to the yo-yo card it would not power up but it would power up through a normal micro USB um, cable directly to the USB port. So I knew it wasn't a problem with the yo-yo, uh, so I got my voltmeter here and did a volt reading and when you hooked it up right, or you know, assuming the colors were right to the voltmeter, it gave you a negative readout on the voltmeter. So you switch them and then you get a positive readout. So for some reason these wires were backwards. Uh, so I resoldered them on and that's why the black wire is to the positive and the red wire is to the ground on the card. Okay, And I'm sorry for the focusing issue there. So um, it looks like we're good. Um, I'm just going to hook it up to the furnace and see if it actually works. Okay, <clears throat> so I have my old thermostat taken off. Now my furnace is a simple two wire. Um, you'll have to maybe do some Googling. Uh, this is pretty standard uh, depending on how many wires you have. Since mine is a two wire, I had to bridge these two. Uh, the RW and RH. Oh, the two R's have to be bridged in mine. So, got the wire into one of them. 
I just used a short red wire to bridge those two and I've got the white hooked into the W on the board. Got my power hooked up. Um, this cable was a little too heavy and one of the wire connections broke off so I've got it taped up to hold the weight so that doesn't happen again. Board has power, that's what the red light's for. Got the dongle hooked up to my phone. It's reading 69 and a half degrees in here. I cranked up the heat before I uh, took the old thermostat off. Um, if I go back to the server app, you can see that everything seems to be working. Heat's off. I don't have an air conditioner. Uh, and since it's a two wire, I can't control the fan uh, without. Uh, the fan is directed is uh, controlled by the furnace itself, so I can't just run the fan. Uh, but we're getting a temperature reading here. That looks good. I'm gonna launch the client. Oh, before I go back. Yeah. Okay. So back here, it's 34 degrees outside, um, which has actually been warm. Uh, here in Michigan, it's been really cold lately. So anyway, let's go here, turn the heat on, set to 74, it's good to test it. Okay, now wait for it to click on. Success. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it clicked on and the furnace is now running. Okay, got my caps uh, glued on here. My printer accidentally had some issues printing, so I got a couple extra caps from him, uh, that the ones that didn't really work out too well. <clears throat> so the best one I glued on top here, and I just used some um, hot glue. Um, other glues might work better, maybe super glue or an epoxy. Uh, the super or the um, hot glue doesn't seem to stick that well to the plastic, but it seems to be holding up uh, good enough for me. Uh, so this is an extra cap that I glued on here uh, to try to reinforce uh, this arm because this arm seems kind of weak. Yeah, this side over here <clears throat> marked off where it's gonna go into my phone. Had an extra cap here that I glued on to reinforce it because it seemed a little weak and this edge didn't really hold my phone in um, with just that little that little lip there so I extended it with the extra cap looks like it's gonna work I'm gonna paint it and see what we get okay before I put the case on I want you guys to see what I got going on here with the power uh, so I've got a power connector here hooked directly into the yo-yo board and it's got it running through the wall uh, it goes it's the standard one that uh, spark fun sells and it hooks into a barrel plug and I've just got that electrical taped and then that runs through the wall and then this extension goes through the bottom of the wall and there's a plug in my basement okay I was able to run that line uh, through this hole that was already cut uh, this is the wire that goes to my furnace and runs down. Uh, so this is the, the power. And this is an extension cable that I bought through Sparks Fun, Spark Fun. And then this hooks into their um, their charger, five volt uh, power adapter. And I just so happen to have this light right here that I just installed with plug in it. <clears throat> so this is powering the Spark Fun um, power adapter and then that goes and feeds up into my wall. Okay, I got the case painted, and um, you know, it did, the paint did seem to smooth out the finish a little bit. Uh, it's not perfect, but um, it seems more solid painted, I don't know. Um, pretty legit. Uh, here's the top part of it. And as you can see, um, I'm not sure if this is the printing, or if this is, um, the design, but uh, as you can tell, you can see through it. Um, kind of wish it was a little bit more dense, but uh, I don't know. It'll work just fine.
Yeah. Um, and I think I showed you these already, how I glued them. Um, got them painted. I didn't uh, put paint all the way through here on these teeth because I was afraid they wouldn't fit right in the... Uh, uh, losing my focus. I didn't think they'd fit right with the, the gear system and everything, so I just uh, didn't put much paint on them. But I put a lot of paint on these guys trying to see if they would smooth out. And uh, they seem to. See, that's a pretty nice finish there. Not too sharp. Alright, let's put it together. It's a little, uh, little tricky to get everything to fit in here just right so that everything would be happy. You know, I, I mentioned already that I had broken off the micro USB on the yo-yo card. And um, I also just realized that um, I broke off the um, thermometer here on, on the board. So I soldered it backwards. Instead of soldering it on the front of the board, I soldered it on the back of the board. And the way to do that is to just rotate it so that the connections are still right. just wanted to make a couple comments about putting the card inside of the 3D printed case. Um, it's a tight fit. You got to make sure one that the USB is flat against the back uh, otherwise it's going to stick out too far and the top's not going to want to go on. I've got my wires over here kind of scrunched up in this little corner. That's essentially how it looks before I put the cap on. Okay, uh, so I have it hooked up now. Uh, everything's together. I didn't like the caps that held the phone on. Uh, my phone's a little bit thicker than the one it was designed for. Um, so if you have a thicker phone you, and, and if you want to use those arms, uh, you might want to change the dimensions a little bit um, of the, the little flaps that hold it on. Uh, Mine needed to be a little bit further out. Same thing with this bottom piece. It doesn't quite hold my phone on. Um, so that needed to be a little bit longer. Just something to think about if you really do want to use those those uh, arms that work with the gear. They're pretty cool. It's a cool idea. I just didn't like the way it looked. It had too much going on. Um, so I just used the Velcro. And for me the Velcro is just fine. This wire sticking out isn't a big deal to me. I might try to shove a little bit more of that access in there. Seems to be working good. I'm just going to launch the client. Uh, heating to 74. Heat's on. So we're good to go. Okay, just one last thing. Just want to show uh, how the remote works. Uh, so this is my personal phone. The thermostat is actually on the other side of the room. Open up the app. Um, and I'm just going to connect to home. That's what I named it. Um, and so I'm connected. So I'm in 66 degrees in the house. Then it says to 65. It's really great. Um, and then you can go in and change all the settings and stuff while you're sitting on the couch. So now the really cool feature is if you're not at home, uh, you can still remote it. I mean, this is the main reason why we why you'd want to build this thing, at least I think. That you pass your uh, your thermostat through your um, your Wi-Fi router. You have to make sure you do that first. Phone. I am in my house, but it's not. I have the Wi-Fi turned off, so I'm actually connected to 4G. And uh, you have to know your your IP address, your home IP address. And then once you have that, you can enter it in here. I have it pre-programmed already. Um, it asks for the password. I already have the password in so it automatically connects. And I can still, I could be down the street and still be able to control my temperature which is which is awesome. Uh, there's also a feature where you can use Tasker which is an app that runs constantly on your phone, reads your location and then sends, sends a, a message to your thermostat to automatically kick on or automatically kick off uh, depending on how far away you are from your home. Uh, there is a video for that. I'll uh, put a link to it in the video and you can click on that and the guy that put this thing together will actually explain 
uh, how to do that. I just want to give mad, mad props to Zonk who put all this together, designed the whole thing, designed the 3D printed box and the circuitry, the circuit board, put the whole thing together and then uh, made it public to everyone else uh, so someone like me could figure it out and, um, and so someone like you can figure it out. So I just want to give him mad props and uh, congratulate him on that. Really appreciate it.